the biggest the biggest mistake that I see people making when they are looking for the right relationship in their life, there's like one big thing. Can you think of what it would be if you are alone and lonely and you are just done doing stuff on your own and you really wish you had a person in your life who you could share life's joys and challenges with? And you make the big decision, okay, I'm going to invite this person into my life. What is the single biggest mistake that I see people making over and over again? Have you come up with it yet? Would you like me to share with you what I have learned? You would? You can put in the comments, share, share, tell me, tell me. The huge mistake that everyone makes when they are trying to find the right partner and how I help them see things a little bit differently came from my own experience. And I was dating, I was dating like it was a business, like I was, it was a numbers game. And I went ahead and I put together a profile and I was online and I challenged myself to connect with 100 people, hoping that one to three percent would respond and maybe someone would be interesting enough to up level that relationship to actually have an in-person meeting. And then I have these grandiose ideas of what this relationship is going to be like. Seriously, I was certain that I would have this figured out. And I do have it figured out. And now I help people go from lonely to love very, very quickly, and they find the right person. However, in the mindset that I was in, that was never going to happen. So really, I share my obstacles and pitfalls and the challenges that I faced along the way so that you can learn from my experience. And that is a secret into how I help people attract, keep, and enjoy the right love in their lives. All right, here's the answer to the question. The number one mistake that I see people making when they are out there and they're ready to attract the right relationship into their lives. What I, what do they do? I'm actually going to like pause game for a second. If you are looking for a job, what would be a tool that you would use to find this job? And how would you represent yourself? You, okay, you've said it. It's your resume, right? So when we put together a resume, are you going to fudge a little bit about the information in your resume and your skill set? No, because that is going to become very apparent very quickly. So you put together a resume that helps you catapult your career trajectory to find the right match of the right opportunity that actually fits your skill set so that you can catapult your career in the right direction. But if you put the wrong information on your resume, it's going to be very difficult to find the right job. That sounds simple and accurate, right? Okay, press play on where we were before. If you put the wrong information about who you are and who you'd like to invite into your life, you may invite the wrong people into your life. Oh, it sounds so simple, doesn't it? Why is it so hard for people to represent themselves accurately? because we want to look really good. We want to be the sparkly object that is so attractive. We want to only be seen on our most pristine days. We want to be the the opportunity to create that movie moment when you meet someone and your eyes lock and you walk across the room knowing that the chemistry is exactly as it should be. And this is the person you're going to share your life with. However, If you haven't represented yourself accurately, then your eyes might lock and you go, "Uh, is that really the person who was on the online profile? Or, hmm, they look a little older than I thought they would. Or, wow, they may have had a big fish in their online profile image, but it doesn't look like a big fish catch. Or, 
just, I mean, just be who you really are. There's, I heard a saying, I don't know who said this, there's a lid to every pot. So there's a fit and there is the right person for you. I'm going to give you an example. I met an incredibly wonderful woman recently, and she was thinking that she would have a hard time finding the right person for her. And she said, well, what I really love is to go um, camping. And I love taking a motorcycle to go camping. I'm like, this is fantastic. That narrows the world down completely to people who like to go camping using motorcycles. And she's like, oh, I never thought of it that way. Because there's a sea of the wrong people. But the people who come to me are really looking for the one right person, the next right person. So do you see how she thought she was being too narrow in her ability to attract the right person to her? Whereas in reality, it, she just made it very easy. So the other people who don't want to go motorcycle riding or camping need not apply. She's narrowed down who is even going to approach her so that she can then choose who is the right person for her. So the number one thing to do when you are looking to attract the right person in your life is be authentic. Ha, never saw that coming, did you? Go get your person.